सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी ड्राइविंग इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्लेट हिट एक्सेंजर्स दीज कॉम्पैक्ट एंड एफिशियंट डिवाइसिस आर वाइडली यूज इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर हीट ट्रांसफर एप्लीकेशन नाउ लेट्स एक्सप्लोर इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल इट्स एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज एप्लीकेशन एंड मैनी मोर थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो नाउ बिफोर वी मूव टू द डिटेल्स Let's quickly understand the basic concept of plate heat exchanger. This is a type of heat exchanger that uses metallic plates to transfer heat between the two fluids. The fluids flow in separate channels on opposite sides of the plates, allowing for efficient heat exchange. So this was brief about basic concept of plate heat exchanger. Now looking at the design and construction of plate heat exchanger. As we can see in the figure The heat exchanger consists of a series of corrugated metallic plates stacked together. Alternating channels are created with the arrangement of the plates within for hot fluid and cold fluid. Turbulence is created through corrugations and thus heat transfer efficiency increases. Talking about the plates, the material of construction of the plates are generally stainless steel or titanium. These material are selected as they are corrosion resistant. and impact high thermal conductivity the plates are sealed around the edges to prevent leakage and fluid mixing okay now let's understand the working principle how a plate heat exchanger operates the operation of a plate heat exchanger is very simple hot and cold fluid enters through the respective inlets and flow in the channel between the plates alternatively the heat transfer from hot fluid to cold fluid takes place through the plate wall which also prevents the intermixing of hot and cold fluid so there is a indirect heat transfer which take place between the two fluids the corrugations create a turbulence which results in maximum heat transfer between the fluid the fluid that flows within tends to foul but the turbulent flow helps in removal of the foulants and the deposits on the surface of the plates continuously means the fluid is having fouling tendency but the turbulent flow helps in removal of the fouling or the deposits which are created on the surface which removes them continuously now let's move further with the components of plate heat exchanger the main components of plate heat exchanger are first is a carrying beam the carrying beam that supports the plate in the heat exchanger The pictorial representation here visually describes each and every parts or each and every component of plate heat exchanger. Second component is pipe connections. The pipe connection allows the fluid to enter and exit the heat exchanger. Then there is a fixed plate which is normally a stationary plate in the heat exchanger. The fixed plates get support with the help of support column. Then there is a pressure plate which presses the plate together to create a tight shield and this is because to prevent leakages or intermixing of fluid a heat exchanger plate is the corrugated plate which transfers the heat between the fluid the primary purpose of heat exchanger plate is to provide indirect contact between the plates then there is a guiding bar which helps to keep the plates aligned and there are gaskets which seal the plates together and prevent the fluid from mixing so these are the main components of plate heat exchanger Furthermore we will be discussing about advantages disadvantages and its applications So there are many advantages of plate heat exchanger over other conventional types of heat exchanger the most important being is the compactness this allows a large heat transfer area making it ideal for the application where space is limited another advantage is that these heat exchangers have high thermal efficiencies due to the turbulent flow within the proximity of the plates it helps in conservation of energy without compromising on the rate of heat transfer the rate of heat transfer is faster so these were the two main advantages of plate heat exchanger over other conventional heat exchanger the disadvantages of plate heat exchanger includes its high initial cost the plate heat exchangers are typically more expensive compared to other heat exchangers and along with the high initial cost the problem of fouling is also main concern plate heat exchangers are very sensitive to fouling and due to which high velocity of fluids 
and roughness of the surface of MOC happens. Guys, now we will be looking forward towards the application of plate heat exchanger. Plate heat exchanger can handle a wide range of fluids of different types which includes liquids and gases. It finds its application in high vacuum system, refrigeration, food processing, chemical manufacturing and many more industries. So nowadays plate heat exchanger are widely used in many applications. So here it is. We are now well versed with the details of plate heat exchanger. They are versatile and compact in design and provides relative efficient heat transfer. These heat exchanger are of great choice when we are looking for improving energy efficiency or enhancing process performance. So guys that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. As always feel very free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you once again for watching and see you in next video.